Okay guys, I know you guys are probably like, why is this girl posting so many videos? But I did get a request from, her name is Soulflower1 here on the YT. And she did recommend that I do a review of this Vasica BB cream. And I'm very, very excited. Um, I did actually reach out to Ipsy Care um, because I felt like, I felt gypped because this product is, and I, again, given the fact Bosica is, or is it Bosica? I don't know. It's probably Bosica. Bosia. Bosia. Okay. So Bosia is a natural brand. Um, but I felt kind of gypped because I used 500 Ipsy points and this is a full size. It's 1.75 ounces. I've had no problems with it, but it expires in August of 2015. And so um, Ipsy Care really did take care of me and they um, said that they were going to go ahead and credit me back the 500 points plus an additional 125 for the inconvenience and that they were going to make sure that the warehouse did not make that type of mistake or something again that's what they basically said so anyways I'm very happy about that I'm happy that I will still be able to redeem my points for something else I feel that's only fair I didn't ask for that but I feel like they went above and beyond and Ipsy Care always does Go above and beyond. I was actually almost going to cancel my Ipsy, but I love the customer service so much. And I love that you can build the points up and you can just kind of, you know, grab people along and get 250. You can get 250 points for each person that comes along. And I will link it down below if you guys want to sign up through my link. You don't have to. Um, I don't get paid or anything. I just get points. But um, this is the Bossica BB Cream and this is in bronze. And it's a broad spectrum SPF. 27 and it says PA++. It, this is an oil-free formula and again it's 1.75 ounces or 50 grams of product and I do love this packaging. It's really really nice. You can tell it's a really good brand. Um, just kind of has white and then kind of like a cream bronzy color and then this is like a bronzy color and I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can find the box so that I can read it. Okay, so I was able to find the box, and if you guys hear some thunder and stuff, we're supposed to be getting some storms coming in, um, but this is the box that it came in, and it is, it was kind of banged up when it came to me, but, you know, all that really matters is the product inside, but it does actually have here on the box as well that it expires April or August 1st, so I only have about, this is the second week in July, so I only have about a week or so, um, and this is best if used before, so... I'm probably just going to go ahead and use it until it's up. I mean, just to be honest with you. Um, but I did want to see if I can read any um, things that or any claims. It does say to apply it, apply it 15 minutes before sun use. And um, to use a water-resistant sunscreen if you're swimming or sweating. And to reapply this every two hours. So I'm guessing this is not good for like being waterproof or water resistant. Because it's saying to use something else if you are doing that. Um, so when it goes through all of the ingredients. I see several good for you ingredients. I do see jojoba seed extract. Glycerin which is good for the skin. Um, I'm trying to see what else I see. Some sort of flower leaf plant okay but um oh and here on the side it says even more things so I'll go ahead and read it to you it says it's this one step wonder creates a lustrous flawless finish as it hydrates firms and soothes the skin BB cream bronze delivers a sun-kissed complexion with just a hint of shimmer helps diminish the appearance of porous fine lines on even skin tone while providing long wearing natural coverage that conceals imperfection. Abazine, a naturally derived survival molecule, shields and soothes skin. Beta glucan, which provides essential moisture and protects against environmental damage. And arbutin, a powerful antioxidant derived from bear, bearberry, helps brighten hyperpigmentation and reduces fine lines and wrinkles. So this is really, really good, it says. And this is probably why also that it expires so soon is because it is preservative free, artificial fragrance and color free. And so I guess whatever is used to color it is like a natural um, pigment or whatever. So 
it's gluten free it's ethanol alcohol free so this is really really good for your skin if your skin can tolerate tolerate it i know some skin is more sensitive than others i have very 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 sensitive skin i have to be really really careful what i put on my skin but um just to kind of go over i've used this for two days now and so i feel like you know i don't have to use something for a whole week to kind of know what it's going to do on my skin and how it's going to do if you can hear whenever i do this i don't know why i do this as product sometimes but it sounds like it's like one glob of product and it really i don't know why that it's just like that's just how it is so anyways it almost has a paint type smell to it i mean not smell but sound it almost sounds like a loose water like color paint or something I don't know so anyways I'm gonna show you guys the consistency um, I feel that it does cover everything all I do is I put it on I just put it on with my fingers in the morning I wash my hands I wash my face and everything and I'll put like maybe a little bit of moisturizer on sometimes I won't I mean this is almost like a baby cream is almost like a tinted moisturizer in itself so you don't really have to put another moisturizer in with this one and with it being SPF 27 you really don't have to actually probably gonna dilute it if you do so um what i do is i put this all over the skin i tried it the first day with the brush but i like it better and the coverage better with my fingers so put it on this morning with like my fingers and just kind of like pat it in i mean it covered everything and um i'm going to show you guys the color so it has like just like this standard tube and i'll show you guys it is kind of a thick formula Let's see if any will come out see that so it's not real watery Oh, it's raining, I think. So there's the color. As you can see, it's pretty close to my skin tone. And so it just kind of has almost like a tinted moisturizer feel to it. And it kind of just feels like you're hydrating your skin too. There it is. And I'll just go ahead and blend it with the warmth of your hand. Or if you're using a brush or something, it's just going to blend right in. And um, I will say that it does. It gives like a luminous finish, if you can see that. But, um, like if you can see that compared to this hand. See kind of how, it just kind of has a sheen to it. And you can see like, maybe like two or three little sparkles here and there. But it's not going to be something that when people look at you, they see. Like with my skin right now, I just feel like it looks radiant. It looks like my skin but better and that's how makeup is supposed to make your skin look so um like i said i feel like it's covered everything my makeup is pretty much still intact from this morning my eye makeup is still intact my brows are pretty much still there um my eye makeup and everything that i did and i used bare minerals ready if you guys want to know everything i use i can let you know but anyways um my blush is kind of gone but i feel like this product is still there and when i when I washed off my face the first time with my makeup wipe, it was still like, you can tell how much of your product is still on your skin by when you take a makeup wipe. If there's a lot of product on it, that means that the product is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's adhering to your skin. It's not disappearing or diminishing through your pores or something throughout the day. It's staying where it's supposed to be. And it doesn't just sit on top of your skin. It just really just goes right in. And I put a primer on first. I haven't tried it without a primer yet. Um... I just that's just a habit I always use even just like a cheapy primer for my face um, I feel like it just makes my makeup last all day and last longer and that's just me and I do set it with like um, the L'Oreal infallible setting spray and I absolutely love it I love this I would highly recommend I think this product is $30 $34 or so and I'm, again I'm so sorry it's about to storm here but um I feel like it does the job I feel like it is comparable to my bare minerals complexion rescue and that is saying a lot because I love that stuff and I've been using this since like I thought okay if I don't like this I will go back just not even use this on Monday not even use this throughout the week but I'm gonna use this all up because I love it it's a good formula it's not heavy I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything on my skin now me I get oily no matter what kind of face product if I wear no make makeup if I just wear powder if I just wear nothing I have oily to combination skin so I get oily right here in my t-zone area and I have to just make sure that I use a powder to kind of set it but it, it blends right into the skin tone as you can see you can't see any line of demarc demarcation or anything where it's a different color it just kind of blends right in I think that if you're gonna 
be a fair skin tone person, you're probably not going to be able to use it unless you like really, really, really tan because it is like that darker color. Um, you're probably not going to be able to use it, but I feel like people with more olive skin tones to tan skin tones like my skin tone deeper even, I feel like would be able to get by with it because it's not like, I can't describe it. Like it's a coverage product, but it's not like one size fits all if that makes any sense and I don't know I mean fair skin tones might be able to get away with wearing it I don't know that but I would I would bet money on the fact of people with more deeper skin tone being able to wear it and be able to wear it where it looks good and just like looks like their skin but better so I absolutely love this soul flower thank you so much for always supporting my channel if I can I will just try to link your channel down below because I absolutely love you and I love all of my subbies everybody especially those that are really like interactive with me I love 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 to interact with everyone um it just brings me joy to each day whenever I see comments I never in a million years thought I would have more than probably a few subscribers and I have like four plus so I'm like getting up there if I hit 500 I'll probably do I'm doing I'm gonna do a giveaway but I'm gonna probably do another bigger giveaway once I hit 500 and then of course if I ever reach a thousand or something if something happens to where I reach a thousand that would be really really cool but I just when I started this channel like over two years ago I just had no idea that people would even want to see the content I figured I'd just post the videos and maybe eventually go back and watch them sometimes myself to see you know kind of how I've changed or whatever but um it's really like I said it's really really a joy to me and I tell my husband all the time that I get a new subscriber just any one subscriber like anytime I get more subscribers I'm like oh my god baby guess how many subscribers I have and so he knows like he hears about all the time and he loves my channel he loves being here and guest starring on it he had a channel he I think it's still open but he doesn't really actively post it. he loves being on my channel sometimes so I let him but I wouldn't have it any other way but anyways I will see you guys in the next video bye